in the world of Amazon FBAR selling, returns and refunds can be a chilling issue to face. Unsatisfied customers and those who change their minds can make your life a living nightmare. And let's not forget the financial impact that returns and refunds can have on your business. But the problem doesn't stop there, dear viewer. Oh, no. When it comes to the Amazon platform, the return and refund process can be quite the tedious and time-consuming process, given its massive scale. As an Amazon FBR seller, you're supposed to sit back and relax while Amazon handles everything for you. But when a customer initiates the return process, Amazon immediately processes the customer's refund and takes the money from your disbursement, transferring it to the customer. The customer then has 45 days to ensure the item gets received at the Amazon FBI warehouse. Unfortunately, sometimes customers don't actually return items and returns might even get lost in the mail. But fear not, for Amazon guarantees reimbursement for the price of the item regardless. However, there are times when Amazon needs a little push. In such cases where reimbursement doesn't happen automatically, you need to know what your next steps are. But let me tell you, dear viewer, returns and refunds should not scare you. They may reduce your inventory or profits a little, but when a refunded item doesn't make its way back to your inventory, Amazon has got you covered. All you need to do is open a case with Amazon, and if the item due for return is delayed, then that's great. But in case it was never returned, at least you've informed Amazon of what's going on. So dear viewer, don't let returns and refunds haunt you. Take control of the situation and conquer your fears. And if you want a solution to another issue, don't forget to comment below and I will provide it in my next video.